All right, first step is to clean the heat sink, clean the thermal paste off. All right, heat sink is clean. Now we've got to clean the CPU. Now we're going to split this thing in half. Here is the arrow. And here is the arrow. That goes like that, does it? So clamping down the CPU. I'm, uh, I'm putting in these three screws to hold the CPU in place. I don't really know how tight I'm supposed to put these screws but I imagine reasonably tight. All right, so this is pushing the metal block in here to uh, push. This is supposed to pop it off. Pretty nervous. Supposed to make a sound. No sound yet. I mean, how much am I supposed to do this? I feel like I need to undo it and see if I've destroyed it already. Okay, so you can see this is moving a little more. I don't know how much it's sort of supposed to move up. I'm just going to quickly watch the video. The box is tight. You have to turn the key until you hear the click. That's what it said, right? Hear a click. I have not heard a click. Okay, I didn't hear it click, but I, heard, I felt it move. Here comes the reveal. I just want to lift. Can I lift? No, this, this hasn't dislodged. This is still, this is still on. I'm gonna have to try again. All right, let's go back in, I guess. All right, let's keep going, I guess. And I don't, that seemed to move a hell of a lot. All right, let's see if this has moved any differently. It has, look at that. So hopefully nothing ruined. I took it off like that. You've got to make sure that it's returned in exactly the same fashion. How am I going to do that? I'm looking at the text in the correct orientation. So the arrow is bottom left, pointing bottom left. Let's do the easy part first. This is, why doesn't this work? Can you, can you see that that's still got a little bit of an imprint? See that? All right, so now you've got this bit. There's silicon on this bit as well, and you don't really need to get rid of it. I just wanna get rid of this thick bit, because it's so thick. 
all of this is pretty thick. But apparently, it's not important to get rid of it. So, I won't. Um, so, now we need to get rid of this. All right, it's liquid metal time. What we do, we put the applicator in, screw that on a little, and we'll slowly push this in until a bead of metal. Let's Fuck me, dude. It squirted everywhere. Okay, all right. Here's the liquid metal. Oh shit. Scrape the liquid metal that's on my fingers. Alright, now I'm going to put the, the liquid metal there. And a little tiny bit more there. And now I'm going to paint. So now I'm going to also put some liquid metal on here. All right, now I think I have this guide. And how does this guide work? Does it work like this? Yeah. And then I put this here like this. There it is. Okay, that's good. And I'll give it just one last wipe before I put on the new thermal compound. Tighten, 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 tighten. Tighten, 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 tighten. Tighten a little more. Okay, case is going back in the cabinet. And then we turn on the television. And then we turn on the computer. All right, well, I think that's a bad sign. I'm not getting a picture. This is the point at which I would be getting a picture. Oh, this doesn't, this doesn't look good. What did that say? New CPU installed. Please enter setup to configure your system. Press F1 to run setup. But I don't have a new CPU installed. It's the same CPU. Why did I do this? This was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Maybe there's some other problem. Maybe I should just take everything out and... Do it again. What do I do now? I wish I hadn't done this. I really wish I hadn't done it. I should have just left shit alone. Everything was working. There was nothing not working. I wish, I wish I hadn't killed that CPU. Alright, taking everything back out. Maybe I, um... Maybe I tighten the heatsink too much. That could be it. Alright, now I'm looking at the heatsink, so maybe that's... Maybe it was just too tight. Let's completely untighten it. If it was a too tight heatsink, Untightening it and retightening it, but not as tight, should help, right? That should solve the problem. That'll fix it. I'm just going to plug it in and see what happens. All right, so 
<clears throat> we're assuming that the problem was a too tight heat sink. That sounds plausible. Sounds really plausible. And untightening it's going to just fix everything. Okay, we got that screen again. Oh. Save and exit, F10, what happens? It's detecting the CPU. Save and exit. This was not an experiment about temperatures, really. Uh, it's not an overclock CPU or anything. The temperatures don't look remarkable. They don't look that much different, but uh, I guess I guess it worked. I guess it actually did work. It actually worked, and the reason it wasn't booting was because the heatsink was on too hard. I had tightened the heatsink on too hard. This is a bit of a relief. I must say this is somewhat of a relief that my computer isn't dead. I bet you didn't think that lessening the tension on the on the CPU heatsink was going to fix the problem, did you? Bet you didn't think that.